Hey everyone, I am back with another book review, and it is another Dean Koontz book like I hinted at, or basically told you in the last video. So, um, Dean Koontz video number two, or three, TikTok. Um, yes, the cover is terrifying, by the way, so, <laughs> if that doesn't give you any ideas. So, basically, um, with this book we have a young man, Tommy Fan, um, technically his name's Tuong. Uh, but he Americanized his name. Basically, he's kind of the black sheep of his family. He chose to Americanize himself when his family first came to America. He is, you know, he became a writer instead of staying in the family business. And he's doing, like, all these different things that the family's, like, not okay with. And it's very interesting to see that um, his mother is, maybe you could say, a stereotypical, like, why you no like family? Um, which is terrible for me to say it like that, but uh, I think it makes you think of that. If you're growing up in today's culture, everyone makes fun of it like that, but it's not its not like that necessarily. Um, she's just very, she's very sad, and she's like, you come home, you need to come home and, and be with your family, you need to eat the traditional foods, like stop going out for these cheeseburgers, they're going to kill you, and you write these stories you know, these terrible books, and he really, it's not that he writes terrible books, he doesn't, she's just, she's depressed, and she's sad that her, one of her sons is not following the family line, and, um, so, with Tommy, um, it's weird, he gets excited, he's buying his Corvette, he just buys this beautiful Corvette, and it's, something that shows him that he's made it in America because it's something that he saw when he very, the very first time he like showed up to America, he sees this Corvette and he thinks that's what I'm going to get myself one day. So he does. And to him, it's like this beautiful thing. Like it represents, he's made it, he's living the American dream. He's who he wants to be. And, you know, he tries to call his mom and his mom's like all upset about it. And she doesn't appreciate anything that he's done for himself, or at least it doesn't seem that way, and so he's upset, so he goes out and orders this American meal, you know, he's talking to the waitress, and he's all excited, so he gets home, and all of a sudden there's a knock on the door, he opens it, and it's just, there's this little doll, and it looks like a voodoo doll um, that you saw in the picture, it's kind of like this little white cloth bag doll, it reminds me of the ones that, like, People are like, oh, put the pin in his arm and it'll hurt him. And so he gets one of those dolls and he brings it in, which apparently you don't do. Don't do that ever. Um, he brought it in and he's, he's sitting there and all of a sudden the voodoo doll just starts coming to life. And it's it's moving. You don't notice it at first. And then all of a sudden like it has a note taped to its hand in Vietnamese. And it's like, it's horrifying because Tommy can't read it. And so everyone's like, you can't read it, and blah, blah, blah. And, like, his friends are like, aren't you supposed to be able to read that? That's your language. And he's like, I know, I know. So there's a note that he needs translated. And then all of a sudden, the pin that held the note in the doll is gone. And then the pin's in his leg, and he, the doll starts coming to life. And the doll is attacking him and shrieking at him, and he doesn't know what the doll wants. And then all of a sudden, he gets this, the deadline is dawn. And he goes, what? Um, so it becomes like this race for his life. And along the way, he meets this girl, Del, or Deliverance, um, Pain. Yeah, it's, it's a very interesting name. And Del saves him. And then they kind of end up in this journey together because the thing's going to come after her. Like, it doesn't want any witnesses. Um, and they see that pretty clearly when other people try to get involved. So this thing is chasing them and taking on different forms and it's interesting to see and like there's something supernatural about Del and there's something supernatural about like her dog joins in and he can't figure it out and it's just like the whole night is supernatural and it's crazy and it's constantly like running, running, running. Um, so it's interesting in that way. It's creepy because the doll is, you never know where the doll's gonna be, then the doll's there. And, um, in general, in horror, dolls are terrifying. Dolls and small children, I found to be absolutely terrifying. So, it becomes this run through the night, and then it's just, it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd, and then Tommy's, like, questioning it, and then as the night goes on, he's just, like, accepting everything. 
and then the ending again it blindsides you just like the your heart belongs to me the ending is absolutely just didn't see that coming at all I mean some little parts of it you may have seen coming like you can definitely pick out like oh this is gonna happen between these people or whatever but a lot of it you don't see coming per se uh, so that's very interesting some of the characters that just accept things and you're just like what what this what and it's it's crazy I think I almost laughed at part of the ending and I was like are you serious right now um, but it's it's really good again it's creepy it's a Dean Coon story definitely if you didn't already know that by me saying that um, definitely crazy definitely a good read if you like Supernatural again Dean Coon seems to be your guy if you like things that can't be explained um, if you like creepy dolls chasing you if you like a little bit of horror and thriller in your life, go ahead and read it. Um, if you're slightly a scaredy cat like me, you can still read it, actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, both books you can handle. So that is my book review. I'm um, going to take this sidestep in time to just say, you may have seen, if you've looked on my profile, I recently shared a video of my friend Charles Barthow. <laughs> yep, this is the problem when you can't say your best friend's last name. Um, he is an amazing bassist and he's been writing some songs of his own. He just recently published a book with his teacher from Berkeley, and he just um, published a video on the Lion King song, Just Wanna Be King, I believe it's called. I shared it, and of course I forgot the name, but it's on my profile. Please go check it out. If you love Disney, if you love the Lion King, you'll recognize the song immediately because he's that good. Um, also, somewhere on his profile, you should go check it out, is Colors of the Wind. So definitely, if you like music, if you like bass, please go check my friend out. He's amazing. He deserves it. That is all for me for now with book reviews. Maybe I'll get some other type of reviews to you later, maybe some comedy for you. Who knows? A um, couple days left before vacation, so we'll see. I plan to take out lots of books, read them maybe over vacation. going to be a lot of beach days in my life coming up, so got a lot of reading to do. Um, enjoy the day, everyone. It's beautiful out. It's slightly fallish for August, but, you know. Anyways, have a great day. Go read some books. Go watch some movies, TV, etc. Okay, bye. <laughs>